order of service for noonday. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then we were like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Jesus said, I tell you, my friends, do not fear those who kill the body, and after that can do nothing more. But I will warn you whom to fear. Fear him who, after he has killed, has the authority to cast into hell. Yes, I tell you, fear him. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten in God's sight. But even the hairs of your head are all counted. Do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. And I tell you, everyone who acknowledges me before others, the Son of Man also will acknowledge before the angels of God. But whoever denies me before others will be denied before the angels of God. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. When they bring you before the synagogues, the rulers, and the authorities, do not worry about how you are to defend yourselves or what you are to say. For the Holy Spirit will teach you at that very hour what you ought to say. Today we remember the martyrs of New Guinea, 1942. New Guinea, the second largest island in the world, is still one of the main frontiers of Christian mission because of its difficult terrain and the cultural diversity of its peoples, who speak some 500 distinct languages. Christian missionaries first began work there in the 1860s and the 1870s, with only limited success. The Anglican mission began in 1891, and the first bishop was consecrated in 1898. During World War II, the suffering of missionaries and of native people was severe. One historian reckons the total number of martyrs of all Christian denominations during this period at around 330. This feast day, observed in the Diocese of New Guinea and in many dioceses of the Church of Australia, marks the witness of nine Australian missionaries and two Papuan martyrs who died while serving those who needed them. The missionaries were determined to stay with their flocks during the Japanese invasion and to continue their work of healing, teaching, and evangelism. Once the invasion began in 1942, they realized that their presence was a danger to the local people with whom they stayed. Any people of European descent were considered enemy combatants and villages harboring them were severely punished. Two of the missionaries, one Australian and one Papuan were evacuating with the villagers with whom they ministered when their boat was strafed and sunk by seaplanes. The remaining missionaries were captured in the bush. Some were executed by soldiers, others by locals who feared retrib retribution for their presence. One of the Papuan martyrs, Lucian Apiedi, is among one of the 10 20th century martyrs honored with a statue above the west door of Westminster Abbey in London. While accompanying his Australian companions as a guide, he was separated from the group and killed by a local Orakaiva named Hivijapa. 
After the war, Hevi Joppa converted to Christianity and was baptized as Hevi Joppa Lucian and built the church at Embi in memory of the evangelist he had slain. In 1950, the primate of the Anglican Church in Japan gave several bamboo crosses to be erected at the parish churches of the martyrs as a mark of contrition. In addition to remembering those who gave up their lives, this day also includes remembrance of the faith and devotion of Papuan Christians of all churches who risked their own lives to care for the wounded and to save the lives of many who otherwise would have perished. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Almighty God, we remember before you this day the blessed martyrs of New Guinea, who, following their example of their Savior, laid down their lives for their friends. And we pray that we who honor their memory may imitate their loyalty and faith. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God of compassion, be close to those who are ill, afraid, or in isolation. In their loneliness, be their consolation. In their anxiety, be their hope. In their darkness, be their light. Through him who suffered along on the cross, but reigns with you in glory, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. This is another day, O Lord. We know not what it will bring forth, but make us ready, Lord, for whatever it may be. If we are to stand up, help us to stand bravely. If we are to sit still, help us to sit quietly. If we are to lie low, help us to do it patiently. And if we are to do nothing, let us do it gallantly. Make these words more than words, and give us the Spirit of Jesus. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.